this is the before and this is the after. Hey everyone, this is Phantom back with another customization video and today I'm going to show you how to customize your KDE Plasma desktop. So the Linux distribution currently I'm using is Pop OS and I'm just trying to give it a clean, aesthetic, minimal look. So guys, make sure to watch the video to the end. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to install a floating dock. So let's go to the browser and type here Latte Dock. Go to this GitHub page. Now let's download the zip file, save file, click OK and I'm going to scroll down and at the bottom I'm going to click on installation instruction and from here I'm going to copy these commands one by one and paste it in the terminal. So paste it, press enter, password, press enter, press enter. Now once that is done I'm going to clear it and copy the second command and go to the terminal and paste it over again. So let's clear that and the third command copy and paste press y and enter now once that is done i'm going to clear that and this fourth command right here i'm going to copy it and paste it in the terminal press enter and press y again and press enter okay guys so once that is done i'm going to clear it and go to the browser again and this time i'm going to search for k ubuntu dependency and go to this community.kde.org page and I'm going to scroll down and from here I will just copy this whole command. So this is basically uh, one command and these are the dependencies that you have to install to get the latte dock. So I'm going to paste it over here and I'm going to press enter and as you can see it is showing me these four package names that uh, it can't locate. So I'm going to just quickly remove these four packages from this list and I'm going to run the command again. So I'm going to go to the text editor and here I'm going to paste the command and from the terminal I will copy these commands i mean the package names one by one and go to the text editor and press ctrl f and paste it over here so that it will search the package name for me so i'm gonna just remove it go to the terminal again and copy the package name go here ctrl f paste this is the package i'll just remove it go to the terminal again copy ctrl f paste remove it and the last one copy go here control f test and this is the one this is the last one so i'm going to remove it and now i will just copy this hold new edited command and i'm going to go to the terminal and clear it and paste it over here and i'm going to press enter and press y press enter and as you can see it is showing me no error this time and it's gonna run perfectly so i will just let it do its job and i will see you after this is done now once that is done i'm gonna close it and close the browser as well and close this text editor as well and i'm gonna go to the downs folder so let's go to the downloads folder and this is the zip file that I've downloaded, uh, the latte.doc zip file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract it. So right click and just drag it. So extract to select. Now that I have extracted the file, I'm going to go inside the folder and from here I'm going to right click and go to open terminal here. And from here I'm going to just type sh install.sh press enter and this is pretty much it this is gonna install the latte dock now so let's just wait for it to finish now this is asking me to put my password so I'm gonna do that and press enter and this is pretty much it so the latte dock should be installed now so I'm gonna close everything and search for latte and I'm gonna click now this is gonna take a few seconds to show up and here it is the latte dock so i'm gonna remove not remove just move this old panel at the top so let's just drag it at the top so this is the old panel at the top right now and this is the new dock that i have just installed now this doesn't look that good right now so i'm gonna right click and click edit dock and from here i'm gonna click on advanced and let's just do a little bit of tweaking so i'm gonna make the background size 200 percent then radius 100 percent and 
and bring it up a little bit margins that's all right make it a little bit smaller okay so this should be all right for now so the next thing that i'm going to do is i will go to system settings from here i'm going to go to global themes and i'm going to download a new theme and which is going to be sweet mars so i'm going to search for sweet mars and this is the theme that i'm going to be downloading so i'll click on install now this might take a few minutes to install depending on your internet connection the speed of internet connection so it's asking me to put my password so i'm going to do that and press enter okay so it is done i'm going to close the window and i'm going to select sweet mars and i'm going to click apply so the theme is being applied this looks pretty nice but this is not it because we have a lot of customizations to do so i'm going to go to plasma style and from here uh, sweet mars is selected so that's okay so i'm going to go to the application style and from here i'm going to go to window decoration okay so from here let's select sweet mars transparent and i'm going to go to tile bar and i'm going to remove this one from here and this one from here and i'm going to click apply and uh, my work is kind of done here so i'm going to go back so i'm going to go to the colors now and from here i'm going to select sweet mars click apply okay so from here i'm going to go to the icons and from here i'm going to go get new icons and i will type l y r a so this is the theme i was looking for so i will click install and just wait for it to finish now once that is done i'm going to close it and i'm going to select Lyra dark and i'm going to click apply so the themes are changed now so as you can see so once i've installed the icons i'm going to close it click apply so i'm going to close it and i'm going to go to software center and from here i'm going to search for k phantom not here i'm going to go to applications and from here i'm going to search for k phantom so this is what I am going to be installing. So I will just click install, give Vanta manager, put my password, press enter. Now once that is done, I'm going to close it and I'm going to go to the browser. And from here, I'm going to type sweet Mars Vanta and go to store.kde okay so from here, I'm going to scroll down and go to sweet Mars Vanta theme. Okay, so from here, I'm going to go to the files. I will download this one, sweetmars.tar. And I'm going to click on download, save file. Okay, now once I have downloaded that, I'm going to search for kvantum. So I'm going to go to kvantum manager and I'm going to select the folder that I've just downloaded. So go to downloads. By the way, I have to extract the file first or it won't show up so i'm going to just extract the file that i just downloaded i'm going to right click and extract it so this is the one extract to select okay so i have extracted the file now i'm going to go to the kvanta manager and select the folder that i have just extracted so i'm going to go to downloads this is the one so i'm going to click ok select i mean click on install this theme and go to change or delete theme and from here i will select sweet mars and i'm going to click use this theme now i'm going to close it and go to system settings and go to application style and from here i will select kvantum dark and i'm going to click apply now that i have applied the kvantum theme let's just go to the file manager and you will see that the look of the file manager has a new look now it's kind of transparent and i'm going to do a little bit of customization here so i will search the places and then unlock the toolbar and move it on the left side okay let's just go to home but i don't know if noticed or not but the icons has changed again uh, this is because uh, this might be because because i have done some settings in the kvanta manager so it might have changed the icons there so i'm gonna have to select the icons again so that is what i'm gonna do so i've changed the icons so close it and open it again okay so this looks all right so i'm gonna right click here and i'm gonna go to text position icons only and this is kind of all right so i'm gonna hide it so yeah now let's just quickly add some applications on the dock over here because it looks kind of empty so i'm gonna just fill it up with 
random applications. Now guys, as you can see, I have added some applications on the dock here, but the thing is I'm not liking the icons. So I just want to change the icons. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'll go to icons and I'm going to click on get new icons and I'm going to search for MCMUSE. So I'm going to install this one, MC Muse Circle, and I'm going to go for this first one, which is MC Muse Circle Black Dot Tar. So I'm going to click on install. Now once this is installed, I'm going to close it, and I'll just apply the new theme that I have just installed. So as you can see, guys, these icons look way better. So yeah, once I have installed the icons, I'm going to close it. Okay, guys. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on the dock and click Edit Dock and click New Dock. So here's the new dock and I'm going to right click on it, click edit dock and I'm going to select at the top and by the way let me remove this old panel on the left side first so that you can see clearly. So I've removed it on the left side so here is the new dock. I'm going to edit this dock right now so I'm going to click on panel so let's make it panel first then I will see what I can do. Now let's add a widget here, so system tray, let's add the system tray over here. So here is the system tray, so I'm going to right click edit dock and I'm going to try to put it on the right side. So here it is. And I'm going to put it on the right, so somewhere like this. Now once that is done, I'm going to add a new dock, so let's add a new dock and Let's put it on the top as well and do the same settings. Make it a panel, length, shrink the length, radius to 100%, opacity, it's alright. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a widget here as well. I'm gonna add widget application menu. Let's add the application menu over here. Let's add the other one, application launcher, this one. So let's remove the old one. Yeah, this kind of looks alright. So I'm gonna just remove this old panel. So I'm gonna remove it, remove panel, and I'm gonna put it this new panel on the left side. So let's put it on the left side, like somewhere here. That'll be good. Then bring this down a little bit. So we are kind of done here. Let's add some more widgets. So add widgets. Clock. Let's put the digital clock over here. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download a wallpaper. So I'm gonna go to the browser. Okay, I need to do a little bit more settings on the top panel here because so go to behavior and I'm gonna select dodge maximized. So let's do it for this one as well, dodge maximized. So as you can see, we are in full screen mode right now. So this won't bother on the top or at the bottom. So, but when you hover, then you do show up. So this is pretty convenient for me, I guess. So let's install a wallpaper. So I'm gonna go to wallpapers white. So I always download wallpapers from this website. These are very clean and the resolutions are very good. So you can download any wallpapers from here if you want. So let's just download a few wallpapers and then I will just try those out and see what works best. So guys, I have downloaded a bunch of wallpapers. So these are all good. So I kept downloading and downloading and forgot about the time. So I'm going to just try those wallpapers now. So let's go ahead and select add image and select the wallpapers that I've downloaded. Okay, so once I've imported the wallpapers, I'm gonna select a wallpaper for my new desktop. So let's, so I have come up with this wallpaper finally. So this is the wallpaper. So this kind of looks all right. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a clock. I'm gonna go to add widgets and go to get new widgets and go to download new plasma widgets and I'm gonna search for clock 
and from here i'm gonna download this one split digital clock click install now once i have installed i'm gonna close it and i'm gonna search for the clock here so this is the one and i'm gonna put it in the middle and let's make it a bit bigger like this so this looks very nice so the last thing that i'm gonna do is add a widget called canon and go to the github page and i'm gonna scroll down and i'm going to copy this command copy this and go to the terminal where is the terminal so go to the terminal and i'm gonna paste it here so press enter my password press y so once that is done i'm gonna close it and go to add widgets again from here i'm gonna go get new widgets go to download new plasma widgets and search for panel and i'm gonna install this one now once i've installed it i i'm gonna co close it and i'm gonna search for the widget that i've just installed which is this one and i'm gonna drag it and put it over here so let's put it over here and do some customizations so let's see what we have here so visual effects you can change the visual effects let me play something so that you can see what is happening and let's play something so guys as you can see whenever i play our audio this is gonna look something like this but i'm gonna do a little customization hide the background and then configure visual effects I can change the effects here just click apply so we can make it whatever you want this one doesn't work this one looks good too By the way guys you get the idea how it works so yeah if you want to change the colors here you can do that whatever you want make it a little bit small let's make it a little bit smaller by the way guys there's one last thing that i have to do is that is i almost forgot and that is customize the terminal so I'm gonna right click and go to edit current profile and go to appearance and I'm gonna get, go get new and type here as WWT suite Mars and there's nothing called suite Mars so I'm gonna just type just suite and let's just install this one suite KDE let's install it and close it and search for here and as you can see there's suite Mars over here so I'm gonna click on apply and as you can see the terminal is changed now so yeah this is it and this was the last thing guys so guys i think we are all done here let me know what you think about this i know i took a lot of time and i don't know if i could explain everything properly or not but i hope i did and this is basically it let me know what you think about this customization i did this customization on kd plasma desktop and also i'm using pop os right now and if you have a pop os or any other distribution like ubuntu or linux mint if you install kd plasma desktop then you can customize your desktop like this and how to install kd plasma desktop you can check my other videos where i showed you how to install kd plasma desktop so yeah guys thank you for watching and if this video was helpful i would really appreciate if you give it a like and subscribe and uh, support my work because i love making these videos that is all i can say so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video